Welcome to Chapter 2 of the EndNote X4 tutorial. Now that you've completed the install of EndNote X4, you can go to your start bar and open EndNote itself. Just go to All Programs. You'll see a selection for EndNote, and you'll want to click on the EndNote program. If it's your first time starting EndNote, you'll see a screen that's going to ask you if you want to integrate EndNote along with EndNote Web. I would recommend declining that at the moment and getting comfortable with the EndNote software package itself first. Uh, I currently have a library open and ready to go. You're going to need to create one. And to do that, you can go to the file item select new and you want to make a new reference library the default name is going to be my endnote library I would recommend that you name this something meaningful a topic or maybe the name of the class that this project would be associated with once you do that save it and I would recommend saving it in the my documents folder of your machine now I'm going to open an existing library, so I'm just going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open my example library. The library will be blank at this point, and what we'll need to do is just set up some preferences so this will work very well from home, and EndNote will actually talk to the Drexel University Library system. To do that, go to the Edit item in your menu bar. You'll need to go to Preferences, and then select Find Full Text. You want to make sure all these options are checked, and you'll need to input this particular open URL path. Make sure that this goes in correctly and completely. Once you've entered that information in, you'll also need to put in this URL that's listed here. Again, make sure that's put in carefully and completely. You're going to want to apply and then say OK. At this point, your basic preferences have been established. In the next chapter, we'll take information from some particular databases and move them into EndNote itself. This completes Chapter 2. Thank you.